Así que vos, recada vos, rimas a la voz de que le vos y acara la babasque. Le manda vos y me le vas a cara caridad a la voz. Hoy a la voz y le vas y le vas a otro le calibas y calabucia. Anda la voz de que le vas y te le vas a otro le vas a calibas. We acknowledge your presence in this place, O oh God. We acknowledge your presence, O oh God, in our midst this morning. Kabush, rekadabus ya kaibus. Are you talking to the Lord? Ya bas ya labus ya nekibus ya labus. If you could speak in tongues, you just need to speak it to your father. Speak to your father, speak it to your father. Oh, you may not understand what you are speaking, but you are speaking your heavenly language. And the Lord our God is understanding everything you are saying. Yeah. Wow. 
to be worshipped. Is he worthy to be adored this morning? Is he worthy in your life? Is he worthy in your family? Is he worthy even in your trials? Is he worthy? Yeah. 
Pastor G, we bless God for your life. How many of you love Andy this morning? Can you stand up and let everybody see? When it's good, we got a shout, right? Yeah. Amen. Well, may God bless all of you this morning. Uh, welcome to the Well of Christ uh, International Church. Today, I'm not preaching. Uh, if you could, you can tell we have been worshiping for about an hour and what, 30 minutes? Yes, because the Lord wanted to restore worship in the house. You know, when we come to church, we're so in a rush. We want to go according to, you know, to rituals, how church usually runs. We're going to sing for 20 minutes, and we're going to talk for, I don't know. And at the end of the day, God is not glorified. So God wants worship to be restored into the house. So from today, we are going to increase the time that we spend um, worshiping. Amen? Woman of God, God bless you. You're welcome. Hallelujah. I bless all the ministers in the house and I bless all those of you who are visiting with us for the first time. We'll get to visit with you after service. So today I'm not preaching, but I want to do, I want to release the the word, the theme for this season. And when I say season, I don't know how long the season is gonna last. The season can be a week, a season can be a month. Season can be three months, season can be six months, or season can be a year, or season can be ten years, I don't know. But the Lord has given me a word uh, for season, and I, that's what I'm going to release this morning. Amen? And I want us to read from the book of uh, Luke chapter 1, from verse 13. Luke chapter 1, verse 13, from verse 13. He says, the angel said to him, Don't be afraid, Zachariah. God has heard your prayer. Your wife, Elizabeth, will have a son, and you will name him John. He will be your pride and joy. And many people will be glad that he was born. As far as the Lord is concerned, he will be a great man. He will never drink wine or any other liquor. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he is born. He will bring many people in Israel back to the Lord your God. I want somebody to say back to the Lord their God. He will go ahead of the Lord with the spirit and power that Elijah had. He will change parents' attitude toward their children. He will change disobedient people so that they will accept the wisdom of those who have God's uh, approval. In this way, he will prepare the people for their God. This is the Bible scripture that I'm sure many of us have read it over and over and I have to. And in this Bible scripture, we know the scripture, the story of Zechariah and his wife. Zechariah was a priest. He was a priest of God. And uh, uh, seasonally, he will go into the temple to offer sacrifice unto the Lord. But this very day, as he was on duty, doing what he has always done, the Lord, the angel of the Lord, appeared to him and talking to him about a situation that has lasted for so long, a situation of barrenness between him and his wife that has lasted for so long. So when the angels of the Lord come now to talk about that situation, we see that Zechariah is in shock like, I have forgotten about this 
thing because now we are too old, you know. We have prayed and prayed and prayed, but now it is time for the accomplishment of what we have been praying for. But Zechariah seems not to be very sure that this thing can even happen. So he said, do you read the story? And Zechariah is saying, what, how is this going to happen? But we see here the most important thing was that there was a purpose in the life of John the Baptist. There has been prophecy from it for the life, for the coming of John the Baptist from Genesis 2. We get into the book of Luke. Then God knew that at the appointed time, he was going to bring a child out through Zechariah. And that child was going to have a specific purpose. And that purpose was to turn the heart of God's people who have departed from God. To turn their heart back to God. And by turning their heart back to God, he said you would turn the heart of the children the attitude of the children back to their father. And he said, you will bring the heart of the disobedient one. You will bring them back to obedience. Hallelujah. And how John the Baptist was going to do that, he was going to do it through, that's why the Bible is telling us when he told Zachariah, he said, this your son, he is going to be your pride and your joy. I want somebody to put their hand on their chest and say, my son will be my pride and my joy. But it did not stop there. It was not just going to be his pride and his joy, but he said many people will be glad that he is born. It means that it went beyond the family. I'm not pre I don't want to preach because I don't want to give up the meat because this is what we're going to be preaching for the rest of the year and it's going to be interesting. His birth was not only going to bring pride and joy to his parents but many other people who are going to be glad that you are born. Can somebody be glad Baptist, where to live his life 
in order that many people be glad. He has to be able to follow that prescription. He said you will not drink wine and you will not drink any liquor. Meaning that if your friend are telling you that wine is not bad, you tell them my own prescription is different. And don't reconcile with your brother. And don't reconcile with your wife. So imagine. 
imagine that in the process that John the Baptist divorced his wife. The that know that Zachariah divorced his wife because she was barren. Because in Africa, hallelujah, if you're not giving birth, you're not the right woman. So your husband, they will bring another woman to you to bring birth a child because they think God is crazy. So imagine that Zachariah has divorced his wife because she was not giving birth. Oh, imagine that even when she was pregnant, Zachariah divorced his wife. Oh, when John was born, Zachariah divorced his wife. Who was going to be there as a father to give direction? Because the father's woman heard what is going to happen to the life of this child. His wife was not there. But when you get into your emotion and walk away from your wife, who is going to bring direction in the life of that child to fulfill the purpose? Imagine that now John the Baptist is growing up, has no father, and the street has to raise him. And he starts drinking and starts smoking. The plan of God in the life of his people will be hindered. So let me stop here. The Lord began to show me how Satan has come with a weapon of separation to separate the people of God from God, to separate the children from their father. Separation, when you begin to study so deep, and you realize that you can be a Christian, you're coming to church every day, but you're still separated. You're not talking to your own brother, you are separated. There is separation at every level of our lives. And God said, want to become in alignment because you did not choose to be born to a certain family. You did choose to have of this mother. So you cannot choose to be who is going to be your mom. If your mother is just an authority to have God over your life. So until you come in alignment and begin to honor your mother and your father, How is my heart disposed 
unto you. He said, turn in the heart of the children to the Father. Because when your heart becomes like the heart of the Father, you can now become a channel through which the blessing of God is going to flow. But if we keep hardening our heart, we want to have it our own way. We want to live on our own understanding. We want to be proud. We want to align the way America does things. I saw you show, you show me a video of a little girl who is, uh, I mean she's two years old. She got her backpack. And her mom was like, where are you going? She said, I'm moving out. The mom said, why? He said, well, because daddy says so. But why did dad say so? She said, well, I was talking with daddy, and daddy said, I can't bring a boyfriend here, so I'm moving out. This is the society we live in. And for two years old, he's already thinking like that. Soon or later, she is leaving. It's a scene. That will be soon in the end that you will separate with your dad. And you will still be alright. It's a life from the pit of hell. Yeah. And we are going to stop that. Yeah. There will not be any, any other divorce in the church. Yeah. That cannot happen. Yeah. We are going to stop that. So we are restoring yeah. the plan yeah. and the purpose yeah. of God for the church. Yeah. We, we got to stop yeah. and become true children of God and know how to endure that. Because the problem is that we can't endure anything. I don't like the way you make me feel. It's all about how we feel. If you don't feel good, you just walk out. It doesn't matter how many years you have spent building this thing. Just the minute you stop feeling good, it gives you authorization to walk out. You're coming back. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I've come to declare that we are entering this season of restoration. And God is going to restore through us the plan of God for the kingdom. The plan of God for the church. The plan of God for this territory. Because we are sitting in this territory, there's a plan. We are not here by mistake. We are here because we were sent. And let the, please can the people in the jail, can the people in the surrounding be glad that we were born, and that not only we were born, but that we were placed yeah. in this specific territory so the plan of God in this territory to actually come to pass. Can they be glad? This individualistic Christianity that I love God, you don't. If you love God, you're going to love your imperfect sister. If you love God, you're going to tolerate your wife. Because the Bible says this is your wife. He said you will wash her and present her to the Lord. Let me think that she came through with so many plagues. But it's your responsibility as a husband to continue to wash her. Because when the husband is connected to the Lord, my God, through you, God is healing this woman. God is transforming her. And she is going to become a pearl.
Because I received this word and I had an encounter with God. The way this thing was poured into me, I knew a new season has come to the church and for the people of God. God, I will sat down, begin to speak in tongues and say, Father, bring restoration. Release the power of restoration. Yabushata, Rimazi de Bozo Radada, Likanabose, Kerebosia, Garabose, Kerebasita, Mandura Base, Kerebozo, Kodada. Father, we thank you. We thank you that heaven is open upon this place right now. And we thank you, Father God, that He has pleased you, God. Lord, to bring the spirit of revelation upon us, O God. We thank you that he has pleased you, God. Lord, you bring the light of our understanding, O God. Lord, we thank you, Father God, that he has pleased you to release a new dimension of your knowledge, O God, upon us. My God, we bless your name. And we thank you and we stand right here, God, as we receive the power, the anointing, and the fire, O God, Lord, to get into this new season, the season of restoration, a season where we all know we'll be restored in the church, the season where all know we'll be restored in our lives, the season where all know we'll be restored in our relationship, where peace, O God, is restored, through a broken relationship, O God, where they are restored, where broken marriages are restored, I proclaim this over your life,
Thank you for the power of restoration. Thank you for the fire of restoration that is resting upon this place. I stand on this altar and I decree and declare that anybody that stepped their foot in this church, that their love will be restored.